What's up guys, Sim here, and this is going to be a very quick video of me letting you guys know what I have done the past two weeks to Betsy. I apologize, there was no video last week of Betsy, but swim just started and I've been exhausted. My hair is still all crunchy and stuff, I haven't even had time to take a shower yet, but I want to get this video up for you guys, and I have been making some progress. I'd say this past month, I've been making the most progress I've ever made on the card. I, I mean, like, I know I've done more stuff previously but the rate i'm doing it at i haven't done anything this fast what i have done is fix the entire brake system and bleed the whole brakes now the front right wheel cylinder the first time i went through bleeding the brakes it was a brand new wheel cylinder and the bleeder valve broke off inside the wheel cylinder so i had to order a new one from rock auto got that in installed it put the brakes back together bled the whole brake system last saturday and that is done and finished brakes are done msd box that is completely finished and installed for what i need to get the car running the two step the rev limiter that kind of stuff isn't installed yet i still yet to get a tack but the stuff i'm looking at right now is just this stuff to get the car running yes i probably am going to go out and find a tack i have a couple people that have some cool old tacks that they said they might want to sell to me and i'm looking at that kind of stuff as like a sun tack those i think that would be a cool fit for the car fit the era of the car pretty well i think that'd be something pretty cool to get uh some of you might know what that is but if you're not just look at google sun tack there's like two most popular styles of them i think they're really cool i think it'd be something cool to get for the car so that's just rounding a couple wires and i have all the wires off to the side right here i don't know if you can see that but i got them all here off to the side everything else needed for like to start the car is in fact there we got the alternator pulley on and alternator and stuff tightened down nice and tight now there is a little give to it like it's supposed to be we got some of the fuel line installed this is the one thing i'm still waiting on you can look here when it comes to getting the car running half the stuff on here is just fuel i'm sending a bunch of emails i'm getting kind of pissed i ordered it on november 13th and it's still not here the fuel pump from uh from carter i sent out jags an email today they said it'll get back to me tomorrow let me know exactly what's going on with that hopefully it does in fact get here by this weekend and if it does there's gonna be some big stuff happening but i got the piece that goes from the carburetor lines down to the mechanical fuel pump got that in got it uh tightened down onto the carburetor lines just waiting on that fuel pump to install that and bolt it up there we got all the filters or not filters all the fittings needed to go from hard line to am line and we got the other one to go from the two different am sizes so we got that stuff in some of it installed already and we have all the hoses but one on i ordered a new thermostat and the thermostat housing or water pump neck water filling neck it had a couple of different names but like the thermostat housing the piece that goes on the front of the intake i ordered a new one of those shipped today should get here by friday so i can install that then the pump is or the hose is i gotta bring this thing inside it's gonna be too cold i brought the i got the new hose ordered this got everything ready and good to go the other ones are already installed and oh actually i do need to cap off one of them because there's i don't have the heater core or that kind of stuff or air conditioning it was some i think it was the heater one that runs up into the inside of the car don't have that one so i'm just gonna have to cap that one off but besides that oh and i also got the starter installed got the wires all set up for that all the electrical is done the only stuff literally left is fuel pump oh the electric choke i actually need to i'm gonna have to write that down i don't have a pen on on me right now but i need to write down electric choke I need to do that as well but besides that i'm getting pretty close and the news is if the fuel pump comes i'm gonna try and start the car this weekend i mean i have everything done it's not gonna be driving because i still need the drive shaft but once i get that i mean i'm getting close to getting the car running it's kind of all being a whirlwind right now with all the stuff going on with swim with school college and stuff like that and with just the car itself making so much progress on it and i'm so close it's hard for me to believe thinking i might be able to start this car this weekend that is if i get the fuel pump in time so make sure you guys tune in next wednesday for another video of my car where you will see if I do, in fact, start it or not. And also, make sure you guys tune in this Friday for Street Race Talk episode 155, where, as always, we'll be talking about all the news that happens this week in street racing. You guys have been given tons 
of support on that recently. And you guys have been giving tons of support on these videos of my car recently. And I'm truly sorry they are more entertaining. It's not just me standing here and talking, but it is hard. And the stuff I am doing, to be completely honest, is pretty boring. I mean, bleed the brakes. No one wants to see that. Crimp some wires and things like that. No one wants to see that. It's just small little stuff that... Oh, I put gear oil in as well. That was something else I, did I forgot I had on here. But just small, boring stuff like that. I mean, no one wants to see that. And if there was smell of vision you definitely don't want to smell that gear oil stuff. My fingers still smell like it. But... You guys have been giving tons of support recently on all my videos, and I really appreciate that. I thank every single one of you. Make sure you guys, please, 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 turn the notifications on so you don't miss a single video that I upload. And make sure you guys, please, 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 leave your comments down below. I'm really close to getting this thing running, and it's all thanks to you guys. You guys have given me so much help and advice and encouragement to keep going, keep fighting, keep working at it. And... I'm getting so close, and I credit a lot of it to you guys. I thank you all so much for that. Please leave your comments down below letting me know how or what advice I need for starting the car for the first time. I know I got a break in the cam. There's a bunch of other things that you need to like run the car at a certain RPM for a certain amount of time. A bunch of stuff. I don't know all of it off the top of my head, but trust me, I'm going to do the proper research and figure out everything I need to do. But it would be great if you guys could leave comments down below giving me advice and pointers on what to do. I read absolutely all the comments or reply to just about all of them. And if you guys follow me on Instagram at SimABCXYZ, if I do get the car running, there will be a video of it on there first. If I do try and start it up, it will, in fact, be on Sunday. Hopefully, 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 this is a huge weekend for my car. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Sim ABC XYZ signing out.